Yo, what's up YouTube? Today I'm going to be going over why you suck at FPS games. <laughs> I'm going to give like five reasons like basically to fix that. So let's get right into it. Alright, so real quick, I did just want to say that the reason I'm using Halo gameplay for this is mainly because these are like very general basic tips for any FPS like slash arena shooter game. And I feel like Halo incorporates the those basics like really well, even in a game like Halo 5, which is very different from the older Halos. But yeah, you could use these tips for any FPS or arena shooter. I'm just using Halo as my example. So I, I feel like it transla translates really well to other games, uh, especially Call of Duty. All right, so the first thing I wanna talk about is centering. Now, you've probably heard of centering before. It's a pretty simple concept. Is basically keeping the enemy in the middle of your screen or like looking where you're at in the middle of your screen of course because your reticle is in the middle of your screen i'm going to give a better example right here so say you know off the break we spawn blue base i'm going to go push up sniper right let's get over here all right so once i get to this ramp right let's say for some reason that they've already pushed up all the way up onto the sniper area right and they're not on the ramp well i'm not gonna be looking here i'm gonna be looking up here at head level at the top of the ramp because that's where i'm expecting the gunfight right it's really about predicting your enemies and preparing for those gunfights you might get into so you know i'm not gonna get into a gunfight here if there's no one on the ramp right i'm gonna get into one over here because they're probably on top of it so i'm gonna put my reticle up there where their head is possibly gonna be and as i come up i'm bringing it down because obviously nobody's gonna be up there but they're going to be straight in front of me on this platform somewhere around here and as i come up here i'm looking around i could go over there chow that or i could look over here but when i'm looking in these areas right i'm looking at head level so i'm looking up here head level looking up here head level looking down there head level right and that's basically the concept of <coughs> centering you want to basically look at your different angles at head level where the enemy is going to be at and you want to predict where they're going to be so it's just about anticipating where the enemy is going to come from even if no one pushes up here i could be watching this angle here because you know a lot of people like to go up on that catwalk so just anticipate that gunfight and like i said earlier let's say <coughs> let's say you actually pushed up here you get up here and there's no one right now there's no one here but there's your teammate is also pushing up the sniper ramp so if, I w if it was me, I'm not going to be watching this angle because my teammate's got that angle already and he's probably going to get into a gunfight there. So I don't need to check this angle. I need to look forward and see who's coming up here because I don't want to lose this gunfight up here. Now let's say they en engage into a gunfight and there's no one here. Then obviously I'm going to look over and help my teammate out because especially in a solo queue, you can't really trust your teammates to get those kills. Alright, so the second tip I want to talk about is improving your map awareness. Now, map awareness can be described as a lot of different things. For me, it breaks down to three different things. First being understanding the power positions on the map. And now, where I'm at right now is probably the biggest power position on the map. This whole like sniper area, this catwalk area. I mean, you've got high ground, you're up here. Usually high ground is like always the, you know, the power position on the map. And usually anywhere like in the middle of the map isn't a power position at all because you're just exposed to like the corners of the map and stuff now up here is a good power position because i have the height advantage i can look into blue base i can look into my own base i can go chow whoever's at rockets i can see who's coming up the sniper ramps and it's just a great position to be in basically but a good counter to this position would actually be the uh rockets over there the rocket ramp over there and let's say the enemy is on this side of the map they're on the catwalk and you don't know what to do about it you could just easily Let's say you spawn over here, right? You could just easily come up the rocket ramp here, and you are pretty exposed here, so as you're going up, you want to shoot and chow these guys. But again, this is a good area to chow whoever's on that sniper side, on that catwalk power position. And once you kill them there, you can push over there and take that power position. So the second thing um, that I really classify map awareness as is understanding where you can get shot from. So basically the lines of sight around you. Let's go back over to the catwalk here. And... Now, when I'm up here, I know I can be shot from the blue sniper ramp, like where sniper is, the backside area over there, and even from down below here. And obviously in front of me, and obviously from blue base, and obviously from over here on the rockets and that uh, corner, that blue corner over there. Now, 
that's a lot of different angles but you are gonna have teammates with you right so if someone's here you don't really need to pay attention to this angle until there's a gunfight there um, whether they start shooting at you or your teammate is you know a whole different thing I'll get into that in a bit but since someone's already watching that angle you can have some confidence that you don't need to check it obviously you want to look ahead and you want to look out to these angles here so when I'm up here I'm looking first I get up here I'm looking over here okay there's no one there let me check the blue base here I go in like this little circle right like just clearing all the angles so while I'm covering the other one so while I'm looking here I'm not I'm like cutting those lines of sight off to these other areas right so no one's here okay open up this line of sight no one's there okay open up that line of sight no one's there okay boom there's someone there on the on the rockets right now when you're challenging this guy whatever you may win some gunfights you may lose some or you may even get caught off guard like i said even if your teammates there this guy on the sniper ram could just start shooting at you and that's when the third part of map awareness comes in the uh, idea of knowing your escape routes now if i'm getting shot from any of these angles i know if i just drop down here and like back up i can cut off these angles from sniper ramp and from forward and from blue base now when you drop down you are going to be exposed to the rockets in the corner here but you could easily just drop down all the way over here and all those angles are blocked off right now another thing about the escape route is let's say you want to stay up on this power position right and you're getting shot from somewhere over here let's say rockets whatever you could easily just hide behind this and just cut off those angles like i did at the start when i was checking them and you know let's say you already have control of this area you should be pretty safe from these angles they'll start throwing nades at you whatever those nades are pretty tough to hit once you hear the nades come through that's when you just drop down over here you know all the way but it's a good tip to just kind of stay in that power position because they can get you off of it but if you just hide back here pop out chow pop out chow you can even come over on this side and chow maybe you want to pick up the dmr and start chowing over there and yeah all right so the third tip i want to talk about is spawn knowledge now understanding the spawn system of the game you're playing is very important in predicting enemies and it goes in hand in hand with the centering and map awareness um, but being able to predict the enemies and knowing where they spawn is very important for just having some consistency consistency in the game and knowing when to push and when to not push right so let's say i spawn up over here right in this uh red corner i know i understand halo spawn system if you don't it's basically like a circle so if i spawn on this end that means like i don't necessarily spawn with my teammates right if i spawn on this corner that means they're all the way over there in cave that's where the enemies are at or even in blue base in that sort of area right so you see how it's like an opposite of so let's say the map is like a circle it's like opposite ends right so if the enemy's on that side that's why i spawned here so then i know okay they're gonna be in that corner they're probably closer to the sniper ramp and i'm pretty far away from it and there's probably some in blue base right but they're more towards this area and what i can do is i can come out over here all right i'm gonna go ahead up the rocket ramp here and i'm gonna anticipate a gunfight here and over here in this blue corner maybe even this black back blue base area right so as i'm coming up this ramp i'm checking these angles right here okay there's no one on that there's no one over here okay let me come over here walk my left okay there's no one here then i can push in and try to go for a flank because i know they're going to be in this area but by the time you get there they might have pushed up sniper ramp you might be able to pick off a few but you know keep rotating over this way and you can get some easy kills shoot some people in the back and yeah pull off that flank another thing i wanted to talk about was say let's say you're alive and you kill someone usually when it shows up in the kill feed give it once it fades away give it three seconds and that player will spawn up again so let's say i killed someone over here in blue base let's say someone was going up for the flank on me and my teammates and i caught him off i caught him before he could uh shoot us and i killed him boom five seconds go by his name on the kill feed fades away three seconds go by boom he's spawning over there in red base as long as my team hasn't pushed up all the way over there right so if your team if the majority of your team is like pushed up onto sniper ramp and maybe even into that uh red like cave sort of area over there that means they could be spawning over on the rockets over here and uh, a little further away from red base maybe still maybe still in the corner but around here as well all right so the next tip i wanted to talk about was strafing i mean everyone probably knows and understands the basics of strafing right it's just moving your left stick back and forth during a fight um but it's actually a little bit deeper than that um so let's say I get into a one-on-one -on -one engagement here i'm going to start strafing back and forth left and right but i'm going to be copying the other player's strafe that way i can make sure to hit my bullets and 
just try to connect with as many body and headshots as I can. Yeah, I'm going to throw some crouches in there to throw his shots off, and he's probably going to do the same, but the idea of strafing is more the left stick versus the right stick. A lot of people will come into a game and start using the right stick because, oh, left stick is what I used to move, right stick is what I used to aim, right? That's actually incorrect. Right stick is good for aiming, right? But it's very, like, even on a low sensitivity, it's very, like, just fast. Look at the movement of my reticle with my left stick and then with my right stick. It's like way faster. So left stick is really for those micro adjustments and making sure you hit those bullets in your one-on-one -on -one gunfights. Obviously when I'm looking for enemies, I'm using my right stick because I want to check all these areas as fast as possible. But once I get onto an enemy and I'm in that gunfight, I'm mainly using that left stick. Obviously crouching and stuff, but that left stick uses more action than that. Obviously if they thrust, you know, try to throw you off with a thrust like this or something, you're going to be flicking to that area. Especially in Halo, you really want to flick that right stick when, when it's... Um, when they're thrusting and like throwing you off with the with the strafe because the thrust like the strafe is pretty st slow you can follow it with your left stick but when they do a jump out one way uh, thrust the other you're gonna have to flick a bit for that to try to get back on target um, especially with like the sniper here I'm gonna pick it up you know flick shots are like so big in Halo so when you're no scoping someone sometimes you want to get it or near them and then flick and shoot usually it might look off but because of the bullet magnetism like usually the bullet connects and it's pretty star strong in Halo 5 especially um, and most Halos again even for like games like Call of Duty this this works as well because when you uh, strafe in Call of Duty you're going to get rotational aim assist which is going to help you more with uh, hitting that target and staying on top of them alright so the last tip I have is staying calm and focused now this is the most important tip out of all of them if you're playing frantic if you're playing panicked or angry like you're not going to win any gunfights dude you just gotta stay calm in your gunfights. I know even if you get shit on, even if like, even if you, like someone surprises you or catches you off guard, you just gotta get like stay calm and hit your shots. And trust me, being calm and focused on what you're doing is just the easiest way to win every gunfight. And it's probably the the one simple trick that helped me the most in winning. I'd say like over like a good majority of my gunfights. Um, usually you're not getting outgunned. Usually you're just like when you see someone you might panic and start you know strafing shooting random shots spamming your pistol do like dumb shit like that when you calm down you're more precise you're more focused and you're more accurate so especially when you play angry i know sometimes i like you know you get angry after you get shit on and then you play the rest of the game like salty or angry or whatever you're not gonna hit shots that way you're not gonna focus up that way that's an easy way to just keep getting shit on and just missing shots and having horrible accuracy my accuracy went up like tremendously in this game when i was just like staying calm and just focusing on the gunfight and staying calm actually leads to focus so i have like a little breathing exercise it's like very common you know just breathe in through the nose and exhale through the mouth like super common tip that everyone knows for staying calm and doing that will calm you down and it'll help you focus in your gunfights so trust me that is the most important tip i can give you is just stay calm and stay focused don't play with panic don't play with anger it's just stay calm man uh, that's all the tips i have for now uh, make sure to subscribe like the video and comment down below